Okay, I just wanted you to see I've got two identical Peterson gems in the little packet. I'm going to get some up close shots of what they look like now, and then I'm going to spend no more than 10 minutes finishing one of them and just see what the difference looks like. All right. Okay, so here's the top of, or the back, the bottom of one of the picks at about 10x magnification. Now, if you can see all those. So what look like serrations in there. But those are those little clicky bumps that I was talking about. Okay, now if I swing over to the other one, which I've got face up. Yeah, you can see all those rough marks there. Let's see if the magnifier will function properly. Oh, that's better. So you can see how rough that is if I can get a raking light in here. It looks like it's been maybe ground a little bit there, but I mean, even the surfaces are pretty tough. So I'm going to spend no more than 10 minutes polishing these things, or polishing one of them, and we'll see what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, this is after exactly two minutes with some 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, you can see. No serrations anymore. I left the little back part here because, well, I don't use that part of the pick. And just as a point of comparison, here's the top. Okay, let me get the little magnifier, see if I can hold it and light it. And Okay. There's the tip. Why don't I just freaking... Let's look at the back of the tip here. Set in focus, roughly. There we go. Give that a little tweak. Oh, that's better. Okay, this is just 180 grit. I haven't even really polished it. You can see all those little lines are gone. That's nice and smooth. Okay. So that was two minutes. I'll spend another few minutes. See what happens. Okay. So it has been. Almost exactly, actually slightly less than 10 minutes. Um, I worked my way up to 600 grit because it's all I had out. So I'm not doing this video as a, um, a teaching tool for how to polish your picks or anything of that nature because there are much better videos on that and people that spent a good bit more time. But I just want you to see that that metal is pretty smooth. Okay despite the shitty magnification. Okay, it's not mirror gleam finish. Okay, reasonably shiny. And the the top and the the curve. Okay. There's still a tiny little defect there on the uh, the inside of the curve that I just couldn't quite get at. Then again, I only spent 10 minutes. Okay, needed to go back with a little more of the hard grit stuff. But that's far more serviceable. That's going to be a lot smoother in the uh, thing. And now you can hear, here's the original. I don't even use a pick, let's use a tension wrench, okay, which I know I've done nothing to. Okay, you can hear, you hear that zipping sound? Hear it on here? All the way up through the top, okay. Sides aren't too bad. Here's the one I just did. 
there's a tiny little burr right there. Dead smooth. And to be perfectly honest, it was reasonably serviceable after the 180, after that first sanding, the two minutes. And, um, you know, uh, if you did this with, uh, if you were doing this commercially, like, uh, if you say, if you made lockpicks as a business, you could uh, do this all with, um, you know, um, abrasive uh, wheels, compounds, and... Uh, that sort of thing and probably do this in like 30 seconds a minute uh, get the edges rounded a little better that sort of thing so my point to the lockpick manufacturers who may or may not be watching my wonderful videos is you know yeah it took me 10 minutes to do that but if I'm spending you know five ten dollars per pick or hundred dollars for a set of picks I then have to go do this for every one of them to even be able to start really using them, I mean, that's not so good. But invest a little bit more in it, and you know, I think it'll encourage loyalty and uh, satisfaction. So, and fewer videos like this and on pick publishing. Okay. So this is Alex. Have fun. Keep it legal and uh, keep making good stuff in America, guys. Thanks.